Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 using the Blood Blood Alone DLC in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Reich. Well, usually the favorite Reich. The German Reich. But now we've just gone to war with the good old US of A. They got up to 130 divisions and we're going in. And I'm, I've, I've said screw all of the, the Midwest here in the West and I'm just like, you know what, New England's where it's at. So uh, we'll do the best we can. The Philippines been called in. Better watch out now. We have to deal with the Philippines. And we're not quite done with the land doctrine, but you know what? I'm feeling A-OK -okay with this. Anyways, actually, what do we have down here? Uh, overwhelming fire. It's a tactic. It's not bad. Counters bonsai charge, which means not really much. Backhand blow, though. Tactics movement goes down. Tactic tactic damage. You probably want to get backhand blow, because the counters breakthrough. Blitz. Um, even though we blitzkrieg, we have attacker, which is not bad. Countered by backhand blow. Counters ambush. So, I'm not really sure how tactics fully work in Hoi 4. I've only been playing this game for like five years, so I'm not a professional. I never claim to be. I'm just a guy playing ga games online, so. Uh, but we got them a pretty good day. Ooh, yes, we can do some of that stuff, even though we will lower the autonomy of uh, Hungary and our puppets in general whenever we can, so. Also, Schneider, please go ahead and put down some resistance in uh, France. So, overall, we are doing quite. Wow. Well, between your school divisions, my god, these tanks are pretty freaking decent. Uh, air superiority wise, we're doing. We're doing. Japan proposes a tripartite pact. Japan has set out feelers as ascertain our interest in three powers pact between ourselves, Japanese, and Italians. Japanese argue that it's imperative that we support each other in the light of increasingly hostile global opinion directed against our efforts. Sign the pact. Alright, sure, why not? We're trying to be slightly historical. Italy signs it too. The Italian government is both trapped our teeth packed, pledging to stand by our side in the war. So if we go to war with Italy, which I do want to go to war with Italy, to be honest, maybe we should have signed that. Um, it won't be very good for, for us then. We'll have to go to war with France as well, maybe? Huh. Let's have to wait and see. Because they don't want to take out the Soviet Union. We might actually t I might just go to war with the Soviet Union by myself. Like, by ourselves, of course. But, follow the Rexco Masariats, because why not? We'll lose some factories and such, but you know what? That's alright. We can always add some later, anyways. Hey, Boston is ours. Almost a quarter million have been lost to them. We lost 60,000 so far. The Midwest is just the Midwest. Um, nice, very nice. Fall of New York. This is a uh, I don't think I've ever taken out America this early. I probably have in another campaign, but I almost never do this. Let's do air invasions too. Modern wars cannot be born without dominating the skies. We must do everything in our power to develop the air force. Pretty much. Oh, Paolo. Um, let's do the low countries next. Fall of DC. We lost 100,000 versus three, roughly 300,000. Not bad. Nice. We're doing a great job. 1940s heavy ship pulls? Sure, why not? Some medium batteries as well. My god, we're almost in Florida. Italy declared war on the Kingdom of Greece. It's fine, now we're good, we're done going to do wars too. Where's Rex Commissari at uh, America? Let's see. Bolster spirits, region wide industry. You know what? I never do this. Disable the, disable the Maginot Line. And land port. Do that one too. Ah, Belgian, Frankreich, Norwegian, Ostland, Ukraine. Oh, thanks Italy for supporting us. Come in handy. We'll see if it actually is or not, but whatever. Uh, Francisco de Martini, yes. I'm not sure why we have you, but we'll take you anyways. Ah, uh, the resistance there too, that'd be great. Plenty guns as well. And these guys are only 18 combo with, so. Italian Bulgarian military technology exchange, so be it, so be it. Improved heavy batteries are very nice as well. Um, we're doing all that stuff too. Not super concerned. It's almost there. And in the meantime, even though I guess at this point there's no point making the ship. I mean, I guess we'll have to fight maybe the Japanese, but at this point, like, yeah, we can't even make that yet. That sucks, bro. But like. I have to take these guys, like, is there really one anyone else that could really challenge us navally? Not really, in all honesty. 
Cut off half a million. They're going through Michigan ish. Here, you guys finish here. Okay, let's sail this way. Hungarian bomber competition. The Hungarian Air Force is currently holding trials for a new light bomber. According to our air task share, news mods got poison wind. Four more requests from Hungarian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling the most modern equipment to a poor country. Should we permit the sale to go through? Uh, yeah. That's fine with us. There you go. That's how I like to deal with them. Just exterminate them all. And then we'll probably go to war with, uh, America and whatnot. So we need to use some planes here. Twin engines. I'm not sure what the best ones are either. Air to air. An interception. Night penalty goes down. Sure. Special modules floats. No. Dive brakes. No. These are literally just carrier planes. Air to ground. Radio navigation 2. Nope. Don't need any of that stuff. Defensive turrets. Probably not, in all honesty. Um, get some fighter stuff. We're going to go with four light machine guns. And then cannons wouldn't be bad. It does hurt agility, which just sucks, but it gives you way more air attack. It does slow us down quite a bit. Let's go with that one. Let's go with fighters. Better fighters. Because um, this basic small airframe has this and this, and that's it. But no, I made it. Oh, wait, this is a proof carrier plane. And. Carrier plane should have this. So now we just have a basic carrier plane, which would be nice. Um, that's nice. Improve small airplane, level 2. Um, electronics, air to air, interception, that's fine. Fighters, light machine guns, and cannons. Like normal, it's actually slightly faster. Double cannons, secondary cannons. I guess there are even more on there if we really wanted to, but that's going to slow us down anymore. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more, but you do get more weight. I'm going to mess with this. And fired. Improved carry. Oh, there's improved carrier. Airframe. Basic carrier, medium. Where's our planes? Basic navels. I apologize for this. Are we not making any normal planes? Small airframes. Ooh. Well, I should do that, and then we have this one too. My bad. And then we need improved carrier carrier stuff. Uh, actually. That would be bad. Improved carrier stuff. Uh, we need naval bombers, so... Torpedo Mountains. Defensive turrets. Light MGs. Electronics. Uh, air to ground radar, because you can. Uh, uh, dive brakes, I guess if you really wanted to. Naval stuff. Cool. Naval carrier bombers. There you go, we got some of that. So you have both those, which are fine. And improved carrier frames, which we'll be done with this, and then this one level two, and we want some casts. Yeah, go very light with that. Anything else? Special modules, floats, dive brakes, um, cast weaponry, small bomb bay is not bad. Bomb locks. It's better. This could be good, this could not be great, I don't know. Improve close air support. Nice. And then normal, so one, two, one, two, three, and then improve small airframe. Level two, go with naval bomber stuff. And electronics. Start taking so long with this. It's a turrets. Go light MGs. Anything else here? Nope. Floats, yes. New bombers were good. Basic improved. There we go. That does take a while to do though, my goodness. As long as we keep pushing through, that's all I care about. Fuel and rubber. 
be very nice. The air innovations are very good too. I'm gonna grab a Sparrow. The air innovations too. The task of the rights of air ministry are of paramount importance, so the Falcon must be the most advanced air force in the world. As it should be. Try the broker cipher. Big whoop de do. There you go. Magnet like detonator's good. Gonna be even harder. It's just blazing through here. They're almost gone. Three quarters of a million. We've lost a quarter million. Happy 1941, everybody. Embargoed by Iran. Do I even care? No, not really. And yeah, we got America. Okay. Well, do they have a good old fleet, right? Well, we'll see. I want as much of this as we can possibly take. I want to definitely take the Eastern Seaboard. As much as possible. Take Texas. And Louisiana. Louisiana's some good some fuel too. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna take as many ports as Shh, crap. Are you kidding me? Well, if I can take more ships, I guess I can, and I will. Yeah. Uh, I guess I need to Puerto Rico, but hey. Got the entire freaking U.S. Navy, my god! <laughs> Look at all the subs they had! Why, why is it so easy to take them out? I don't understand. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but still. Like this is this is like the easiest I've ever done it, and I'm not that great of Void Four play. I'm pretty decent, but like my God, what the heck is going on in this game? <sighs> Just here's the American Navy, Saratoga, uh, U.S. Maryland. Like, bro, I know they're not at war, but like, my God. <laughs> nah, we're good. Um. Mexico, do you want to go to war? Oh, wait, is America still alive? Oh, do we not take everything from them? Oh my god, they're left. Oh, they've been cast away to the Phoenix Island. Jesus Christ. Holy shnikes. Well then. Nederland? Sure, why not. Belgian or Frank Rush? Sure, why not. Oh, we can just straight up annex them. Um, let's take a look at the focus tree first. I don't mind having them alive. Replace the defeated government. Um, let them develop everything they have first, and we can always annex them later. I do want to get them developed enough so they can build like factories and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, that's, I guess that's the main idea. Oh, what's going on? Slowly going down there. It's good. Slowly going down here too, which is nice. I, I guess the Soviet Union's next, I, I suppose. Them owning Bukovina is very disgusting. You guys can like struggle in the south probably. And something like that maybe. Hmm. Yeah, since we're here. More medium tanks, I guess. Got a 40 combo with man. I like them thick. I guess the logistics, because that does take a lot of fuel up, so. At least we got all continental US. We'll probably come back and take out Mexico or something. Or develop another arm, a couple more other armies. Yeah, that's probably a better idea to do. 
bruh. Second Vienna Award? We still do that one too. Malta Ribbon Drop Pact? We even do the anti commentary Pact. Nice Soviet Pact? There's no point in doing that. I'd rather do a war with the USSR. Uh. Dynamic Research? Nuclear Germany? It's not even 1942 yet. We already took them out. Crazy, man. Crazy, I swear. Sure, why not? You know, I guess we got time until then. Uh. We did these two. Also in Ukraine, we got to wait for that. It's alright, I guess. Nice. Yeah, I guess second Vienna War is going to take quite a few days, but that's alright. I guess we got the time to kill for them now. Better radar is always nice, too. Better tanks, maybe? 43, 41? Or still using the light tanks, which isn't smart and all, but whatever. Um, yeah. Oopsie. My bad. Let, let the game go on. I mean, we might not get there historically for D-Day, or I guess Invasion of Barbarossa, but at this point, am I really super concerned? Not really, no. There you go. for me all that stuff. Other than that... Oh, we, oh, we were questioning Mexican sovereignty already. My bad. I thought we weren't. For some weird reason. It's going to cancel it. My bad. I for, how did I forget about that so quickly? I don't like how this looks. We, and I also want to take out Italy, too, because I don't want them to own any other territory. So... Well, the Soviet boys will be next. Let's see. What are we doing with our naval doctrine? Go figure. Only roughly 500 factories. That's all we have, you know? Oh. I guess they had no faction to join, so that makes sense. Italy's done very well for themselves. They've done too well. And the Japanese are still struggling down here too, which doesn't make any sense to me. But what are we missing? A lot of armored cars. That's actually better than what we saw earlier. Armored... Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Thanks. Uh, is it worth doing this? Probably not. Oh, well. Got plenty of trains. Those air supports okay. Cass. Yeah, we don't need to carry Cass. Naval bombers. Good new bomber. Airframes. More millies. What else is new? Good artillery, nice, good stuff. Some better stuff there. Any actual medium tank now? Look at that. Um, you guys looking. Alright. Board anti air? Yeah, might as well. Nice. Ah. So get this to this point. Oh, it's like I'm getting a board, huh? Recognize that the new order has been established in Europe, although we've been asked by Hungary and Romania to arbitrate a territorial dispute between the two countries. Transylvania was taken from Hungary and incorporated into the Romanians, one, uh, into one of the many ill-conceived changes forced upon the world at Versailles. Should you know that Transylvania be returned to Hungarian control? Transylvania should remain in Romania. All of it. Well, we already made Hungar Hungary big. Give all of Hungary Transylvania. And last was Spain, the nationalist victory. And Spanish war has paved the way for a close relationship between our two countries. Franco holds the key to the Mediterranean. We could. Or just say kill them too. We may refuse to abide by the decision we reached the second Vienna Award. The delegation has been called to Bucharest and no territory has been surrendered to Hungary. The will of Germany will be obeyed. Operation Tannenbaum. Switzerland possesses the most disgusting and miserable people in the political system. We must not finally have time to see that these mortal enemies of the new Germany. Synthetic rubber. Large scale modernization and aviation requires large amounts of rubber, which we own no sources of. Let's well, improve the ways to create synthetically. Rocketry. Rocket propulsion holds the key to massive in innovations in all three military branches. Well, Wunderwaffe. Heisenberg and von Braun are chopping the bit to explore certain ideas they have for true doomsday weapons. All they need is extra resources in the Reichsautobahn. Since its inception in 1933, the Reichsautobahn project has been a glorious success. 
The construction efforts have reduced unemployment, and the wide uh, road stands as a monument to Germany's economic recovery. Much work remains to be done, though. Army innovations, too. Lessons learned at facilities in the USSR will allow us to further improve our doctrines and equipment. However, this time we'll keep the advances to ourselves. Naval effort. The expansion of our navy should be our first priority. Assign all available resources to the new dockyards and research into the light surface ships. Expand dockyard facilities. Truly rebuild a navy. Uh, worthy of note, we must greatly expand our shipbuilding capacity. And we also did improve our national spirit. With the capital season of the victors of the Great War in our hands, we can finally cast off the shadows of our defeat. The new age is done for Well, Germany. you, me, and really, we need all the Germans at least under one government, right? Ah, that's what I thought. I'm not even going to call on anyone else. Just use infantry for this. This is probably going to be very bloody and whatnot, but, you know, whatever. Um, we should have air superiority over them, uh, though. They have a couple planes, and we're somewhat disrupted, but, you know, we'll get there eventually. I'm not super concerned at this point in the campaign. After you take out America as Germany, you know, I'm not feeling too... Too worried, even though we need to go to war with the Soviet Union at the time of this recording, too. But you know, whatever it is, what it is. Um, here, help them out right there. You know, they'll do pretty darn well because they, I'm sure, they got plenty of ports all over this god awful area and mountains. You know, it's gonna be very costly taking the land, whatever. Uh, but you know, their choice. And ooh, got some cannons, would be very nice. Better engines? Oh, yes, please. You guys gotta die. They all gotta die. Yes, please. We've lost 81,000 versus 70,000, which is, you know, similar to them. It's pretty good. And help them out here, too. The militia must die. War bonds. Eh, at this point, I don't really need them. Gotta go to back to war with Mexico, though. Good, good, good. We might have to reach his file on the Soviet Union, yeah. Oh. We're in the Swiss Confederation, huh? Nice. Wow, now they're forcing defense, huh? Well, good for them. They should run out of map. Well, I don't know, it depends. They might be able to run out of map, or maybe not. Just depending on what they do here. Ah, the towns are just fine on them, too. Ah, they're running out. Very good. Sehr gut, as they would say in Germany. Probably. Absolute air domination. Yeah, lost 127,000. They've lost all the guys, too. And let's go with backhand blow. And now, if we can, I'm going to add backhand blow right here. Expand it with dockyards. Plan Z would be nice. U boat effort. Uh, well, it can't. Befriend them anymore, so hey, U boat effort. Uh, Commodore Donuts advocates a strategy of unrestricted submarine warfare as the best way of bringing Britain to its knees. With enough U boats, we might be able to starve the British home industries of all the required resources from its far flung uh, empire. Maybe. Just maybe. Way too out of time? At this point, you might as well. Uh, so much more manpower do they have? None. Alright. You guys have stopped enough. We're still going to continue killing them, though. Yeah. I'm going to force it. Because they're out of manpower themselves, so. Nah, we're good. Uh, there you go. There you go. Do that, too. Because you can. Fine. If you want to come in, so be it. You can come in, too. That's fine. Yes, yes, yes. So they got this, which is pretty good for them. Plus 25% defense, more max entrenchment of why not, you know. Um, I'm very di disappointed that we don't get anything else in terms of uh, close air support, because there's like no air bases left. 4.2 is very pathetic. It's very, very pathetic. Should be able to do this really soon. There you go. So, I'm not sure what else to say, except that this is really pathetic. But they can't hold out forever. There's no way they can hold out forever. Um, sure, why not? Better, even better plane engines? Sure, why not? Oh, we've been embargoed by China. Do we care what the Chinese even think? 
Oh yeah, we have this too. Here we go, do that. And dang, say! Military advisor recalled. Well, there you go. <sighs> Enemy agent turned. Very nice. Very nice. They should be out of guns, I would assume, right? Yeah, they've got nothing left, so. We're slowly taking them over. U boat effort, nice. But we'll get them. Lots of Spain, train interdiction, our doctors committed to turning out U boats, but we need to develop better ways of utilizing these wolf packs. Give the animals everything they need to conduct the simulations and war games. Modular construction. By having a part of ourselves build of various construction facilities, assembling construction speeds are greatly improved across the Atlantic. Uh, well, if you're wondering about this, please go right ahead, even though we technically already did all that. Uh, are there any innovations too? Uh, of course, like we read earlier. Uh, we read earlier through a lot of these. Rex Autobahn? Yeah, we read that one too. West Wall. The West Wall runs parallel to France's vaults of Maginot Line, occupying much of the same ground as the Siegfried Line did in the previous Valkyrie. Fortifying his fence with loss of all the border with a few men, freeing up divisions to participate in any potential Eastern campaign. And now, everyone, it's 1943. We've started this just a little bit late, but it's January, almost February. And we've gone to war with the Soviet Union, and they've tried to attack us just a little bit here, as you can see right now on screen. Um, we've lost 134,000 to them. They've lost 200,000, but we should do okay overall. We might lose a spot here or there. You know, you never know. Um, we got some suicide pills. They're very tasty. Should be able to hold in general, but, you know, you never know. Let the tanks go on in and see what they can do. Some damage here, if possible. But yeah, looks like we're holding the line for the most part. Pretty okay, like. We'll grab that tile, that'd be nice. Actually, they, they took that from us already. It's not a supply hub, but, you know, it'd be nice if it was. Um, cancel lend lease, that's fine. But yeah, they just, they're just going to go a little crazy at us right now. Which is fine with us. Um, we should be able to win here, in theory. We should be able to win. They're going to be stacking lots of soldiers here, too, though, but, you know, what else is new? Hello. Swedish operative, space up. Space, uh, space pilot promoted. Uh, they canceled their lend lease. We're missing just a bunch of artillery, at least we were. And they've lost 30 million now. So basically, we're just going to be doing this for quite a while and uh, just beating them up, for the most part. They canceled their lend lease. That's fine. You can have an non pack for now. Um, maxed out a lot of the stuff here. Very nice, very nice. Ooh. Convoy stuff. Obviously, the Soviets have a ton of map and the industry probably is not too bad either, but we're just pretty much just sitting here just kind of letting them grind on us. Which personally sounds like a lot of fun as we're doing Oswald as well, so. But you do fine, not too worried about that. Oopsie, I canceled it. Crap. Oh well. Rock set bond, so we'll go do that one. We can't do German war economy. Um, strategic effort, we'll, we'll probably go with tactical air for it. Victory will be achieved by annihilating the enemies through ground forces. We must focus on supporting our own armies with uh, tactical strikes against close and deep targets. Cannons, very nice. 43, yes please. Good, he's more. Soft attack. It really keeps hitting ground support, which is nice. Um, yeah, they just keep attacking us. And they're forcing attack too, my god. Holy crap, that's very dangerous to do. Um, we, we don't have air superiority either, so. They probably promoted. They've lost 700,000 men. Nice. Um, so since we can't, we should probably wouldn't be able to do very well. They have been pushing it just a little, little bit, but you know what? I'm gonna let them just test themselves a little bit, and we'll probably go from there. Um, yeah, I'm not super concerned as long as they don't try to invade all this stuff too. Uh, but yeah, overall not bad. We are seeing them as much as we can. Um, so after that one, long range escorts. Our tactical uh, strategic bombers require longer range escorts to provide protection all the way to the target area and back. Naval air efforts. The efficacy of our air strikes against naval targets was demonstrated by the Americans already back in 1921. We should not neglect this branch of the Air Force we intend to wage war on a naval power. Which would be a great thing. Train interdiction, of course, modular construction, and of course, crossing the Atlantic if we possibly could. And go. here we're at so far, everybody. We can go and proclaim the British German Reich, so we might as well. Now, we're Dr. Gray, and we also have Alexis Commissariat Ostland here, and Alexis Commissariat Ukraine. Be nice. Very good. Very good. Uh, hello. Uh, they do have a thing of garrisons here. It's like how many divisions? One, two, three, four. Twenty-nine divisions. Not bad. Not bad. Um, Austin's led by Henrik Loza. Ukraine's led by Erko. So overall, not bad. Go ahead and help them out. 
So there are about roughly 5 million casualties. There are about 81% towards the capitulation. We've lost how many? 1 million? Which overall is not bad. Um, even though I do want to take out the uh, other people next. Or other people, I mean. Um, I'll have to go Italy too. Well, I'll ask these guys a little bit later, maybe. I might just make this full worldwide conquest. At least have everyone in the Axis. And then I do want to kill off Italy just because I want all the territory for ourselves, so. And you then continues. That's fine. That's fine. Tank stuff. Go and grab modern tank chassis. Uh, what else we got around here? Improve anti be Nice. Be great, great, great. Go and do that too because you can. Uh, other than that, not bad. Tactical air effort, of course. Long range escorts or naval effort? Maybe we'll do naval air effort first. I always hated this part, to announce Costa Rican ideals, because it takes so long just to invade, like, this part of the Soviet Union. It just takes forever. Oh my god, they're 85% of the way there, so... You can tell we're so close, but we just can't get to them yet. Those are just so terrible, too. See what you can do about that, but maintenance, why not? As we're slowly taking out more and more of South America, so I mean, that, that's the goal to get all the way through too. So, um, other than that, we're doing pretty darn a okay. Let's take out South America or Central America, I should really say, I suppose. Um, some comms included. Uh, when I played as Germany before uh, Blood Alone for the first time, I had to go to war until 1950, and the Allies were fighting America. We're fighting America, the Soviet Union, and China kept on taking Japan, which was an American puppet, which is very weird. Uh, sure, no. The reactor's good. I'll uh, go and grab this one too. Uh, someone else says, Can you play as Axe of Switzerland? Sure, sometime. Um, someone says, I like putting a fallback line al along the Rhineland. Then, uh, when I'm about to do the focus, I'll put a garrison order on it. Once the focus ends, I'll watch the divisions funnel in. Cool. Someone else said, Is it really hard for Paradox to just put Recall Volunteers button in the game? I guess, man. I guess. Someone says, I think if the war in Ethiopia is considered that the government of Ethiopia will flee and continue the war in exile, that's why Italy was so shown to be in a war, which it, it was, so. Um, Peru, no, we're good for now. We're just really out of uh, artillery pieces. Guns are fine. These guys are really out of a lot of stuff. They're running out of manpower, so are we, but you know, whatever. And they're out of guns, artillery, they're pretty much out of everything. they got a lot of divisions still. They're still putting up a good resistance going up, but I think I might end the episode here because it takes forever to capitulate them, so. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll have one more episode in which we're going to try our best to take out as much of uh, the world as possible. We'll take out the rest of, the, uh, we'll take out Italy, we'll take out South America, um, take out the Chinese United Front, maybe even take out Japan. We'll see what happens, you know, there's no guarantee. But, I got it there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll finish off this campaign and probably take out Spain. Have a great rest of your day.